Actually, that's a nice question. A lot of people have been asking for um, an acoustic album because they really enjoy our meet and greet and VIP uh, sessions that we throw before our headline shows and, and, and all our shows, I mean, as much as we can. And we've been th thinking about it. Um, to be honest, we've been very busy uh, since Pirates. We've been touring a lot. Then we had the idea of recording the show at Bakken because it was such a special experience. So. You know, we already like release something every year. <laughs> <laughs> I think we would need like a couple more, couple more years to maybe get that project coming together or just the right time frame, the right mindset. But I, don't think, I think it's something we could, we could put together, yeah. I think already that an entire year has gone by, um, but we've got to do some really cool things so far, even with this being only our third show. We're opening up Provisions of Atlanta, so that's super sick. Actually, just the other day, we had somebody comment that they thought that, that we were from Finland based off of the sound, and then they found out we were from Chicago. Shocker. Very exciting. Um, yeah, I think we're definitely going to see a couple familiar faces. I mean, my family is going to be here, a couple friends, so. Yeah. And some people who've been coming to all of our shows, they're probably going to be here as well.
I really like Master of the Hurricane. Yeah, so, that's yeah. a good one. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna play uh, Clocks. I like that one a lot, but we'll see. Said earlier at the meet and greet, actually, yeah, this we feel like we we were born in 2019, uh, 2018, when we released the Deep in the Dark because because that's just the new the new lineup, the new sound, the new songwriting, the new process, and this is not to to deny or or forget what, what the band has been doing before, but it's it's a bit difficult to identify with something that's been done with a completely different team. At completely different mindset. Um, yeah, we, we have this sensation that the band is not as old as it is. I do believe there is an appetite for what is maybe exotic for the American market and what they're not used to see every second day. You know, as you said, like uh, you've just had an Epica Sabaton tour and we're coming over, but it's not like you can get all of the European acts to your territory yet. It's difficult, you know, to cross the Atlantic. So maybe, yeah, we do have fans here and are just happy to be back to concerts and to be able to enjoy our, our set as well.
in Denmark, we had a we had a canoe started to surf the crowd, and Dushi made a solo inside the canoe on stage, and I mean, it was just so so much fun. So there are things we can tell. Yeah, we have fun and we play around, but there are things that come from the crowds that we can't expect. So the best way is to just catch a slide and see for yourself. <laughs>
watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.